and I, I know you guys do. In order to listen, one of the things you have to do is uh, anybody just do what? No, one thing in order to listen, you, you can't have any distractions like cell phones. You can't have any distractions. You want to listen, right? So if you want to listen real well and get all the information, how do you do that? Anybody raise your hand? Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. That's excellent. Uh, what else do you need to do? Raise your, you gotta, you gotta raise your hand, then I call on you. That's how we do it. Right here. Be attentive. Be attentive. That's fine. That's a good one. I, I got a real hot one I'm looking for, though. Uh, what do you need to do? Pay full attention. And how do you pay full attention? Okay, anybody else? Look yes, at sir. The person. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. You got you gotta look at the speaker all the time. All the other ones were right, but you have to look at the speaker. Now, just because he gave me that answer, you're gonna have a, you're gonna get a McDonald's car for five dollars. Right here. Now, now, <laughs> now, let me say this to you. In order to pay attention, you gotta listen. Now, what what I really, in all the meetings I have, what I require is all the young men, whoever's there, uh, to be quiet. Okay. We all know how to be quiet, right? We all know how to follow instructions, right? Okay. So that's what I'm requiring. When I'm talking, nobody else talks. If you raise your hand, I'll call you, then you talk. Otherwise, you should do what? You should do what? Be quiet. Be quiet. So everybody should be what? Quiet. All right. Everybody should be what? Quiet. Now we got it. Okay. That's how it works. Okay, now, something real quick I'm going to do on house cleaning side. I got a question. I got another card, too, by the way. Um, that gentleman that runs through the program, he didn't give me many cards. So I got to be real tight. Okay. <laughs> now, what, what does that mean? Raise your hand, real quick. Yes, sir. It means like kind of having a blind trust. That's an excellent answer. Excellent answer. Yes, sir. Somebody else. Well, for that, there's a lot of meetings. I'm looking for one real hot one. Somebody else. Yes, sir. Mm, that, that's what I'm looking for. Somebody else. That was real good. One. What does that mean? Anybody? Yes, sir. Belief. Thank you. Belief. Thank you very much. All right. Somebody else. Faithful, faithful is what does that really mean? Now it means it means belief. It means having confidence in. But you know what else it means? It means trust. You say trust. Thank you. Very good. Now, but it also means something else. It, it means go ahead. Having heart. Having heart. That's one other good meaning. But it also means doing. Exactly what you were to, told to do. I'll say it again. Doing exactly what you were told to do, exactly the way it should be done. Don't add anything to it. Don't take nothing away from it. So that's what it means. And I, I, I'm gonna say it one more time. It means you just do what you were told to do. You don't add nothing to it. You don't take nothing from it. You don't change, change anything. So. When, when these, young, when these uh, midterms and Mr. Shackleford ask you to do something, you need to be faithful to it. You need to do it exactly the way he told you to do it. Don't change it. Don't add nothing to it. You follow me? So because the people that are faithful and understand what that really means and, and do the way I just said it, they're the successful people in America. The people that know how to follow directions. The way it's supposed to be done. If you can learn how to follow directions, you guys play football. If you don't follow directions, you're going to have a problem. You got to learn how to listen and follow directions. So being faithful, uh, or faithfulness is doing it exactly the way you were told to do in no other way. Don't add nothing, don't take nothing from it. If you, raise, if, you, if you understand what I just said, raise your hand. Okay, now, now so. You, you, there should be any problem here when somebody asks you to do something, you need to do what they told you to do exactly the way they told you to do it, right? As long as it's not harmful, negative, or breaking the law, 
you should do it. Because that's not going to happen here. It's going to all be good. So I'm, I'm just kind of enlightening you guys on that area. you got to be faithful. And that's one of the meanings of faith. Now, now that I got all that out the way, we can get to the meat of the subject. Okay, now, I got some questions for you guys. Some real some questions. Now, in order to listen, like I said, you have to pay attention to the speaker. You need to keep your eyes on the speaker all the time. Yeah, you can put the burger in and take him out, that's fine. But keep your eyes and focus on me. Because I know if you do that, you're going to get more out of it than you would if you wouldn't do it that way. I already know that for a fact. All right. So I got a couple of questions. You got to ask yourself this question. How did you get here in this class? How did you get here? Don't answer it right now. But think about it in your mind. How did you get here? What brought you here? That's one question. Uh, what message are you getting? And, and this is outside. What message are you guys getting and who's giving it to you? Your mother, your father, your brother, your uncle. Somebody's talking to you guys outside of here, and they give you information. Now think about this. When you get to be 30 years old, two years from now, you know, what are you going to be doing? Just think about it. Now, you got to think about this. What drove you here today? Why are you sitting in these seats right now today? What, what drove you here? Was it um, hopelessness? Was it gain? Was it drugs? Or was it some other kind of issue? What are people telling you to do? There's other people out here, outside of here telling you to do some things. What are they telling you to do? If it's negative, you know that's not right. Uh, Ten years from now, what do you want to be doing? Think about those questions. Ten years from now, what do you want to be doing? Now, what work do you think you will be able to do without a degree? What work do you think you'll be able to do out here in America without a degree? Whether it's a college degree, whether it's a two-year degree, uh, whether it's a certificate, because it's all different kind of ways. Apprenticeship program. What work do you think you'll be able to do without a degree, a certificate, or some kind of training? What work do you think you'll be able to do? Just think about those questions. Now, we talk about the NFL and the sports and all that kind of stuff, and that's all good stuff. I don't have a problem with any of that, okay? Uh, you know, uh, every, year in high, every year in America, the whole country, every year, there's a million high school students, just like this. A million high school students that play football. It's a million kids every year all across America. How many actually go on to college all levels? Just, just, just hold on. I want you to raise your hand. How many actually go to college on all levels? Yes, sir. About 2%. And what's, what's the number for 2%? Just give me a number. 20,000. Okay, you invite somebody else. I didn't say that was wrong. Somebody else. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody else? See, that's something you guys, I thought some of you guys know. You know, you have any idea, Coach? About a thousand. Okay. Out of a million high school students every year all across America, 58,000 plus kids go on to college. All levels. 58,000. Now, how many go to the NFL every year? Uh, uh, I need a raise hand. Yes, sir. What number is that? Give me a number. Just tell me quickly. One, two, three. Bomb, go on. Uh, somebody else, right here. 200 what? That's close enough. All right, now there's free agents and all that other kind of stuff and, and, and that kind of stuff, but that's why that's, that's, I give you a card for that. That's close enough. That's real good. That's all. Two, let's say 250 and another 100 or so free agents um, or more. Let's say it's 400 all together. That's not many out of a million, is it? So of a million people, 400 go to the NFL, and they all don't make it. So what's everybody else going to do? The basketball, but the basketball numbers are horrible, so I didn't want to go that route. But think about it. What does everybody else do? They got to go to school. They got to be educated. That's what you have to do. Even, with, even if you play football, basketball, whatever you play, you got to have that education piece. You got to have a degree and a meaningful degree. It don't talk when I talk. Talk about God. I won't be here long, so don't, do, don't talk about God. All right. Now, now we're going to move on. 
So the question is, do you believe in yourself? Do you think you can do the things that you want to do? Do you feel good about the person you are? Do you have things about yourself that you're proud of? Do you feel you can do things as well as most others your age can do? Now, if you answer no to most of these questions, now, and some of you got yes, no, probably, is it, it, you have a, there's a self-confidence, self-esteem issue that we deal with pretty much around this age anyway. That's just the way it works. Confidence, believing in yourself, um, is very important. So you got to believe you can do it. You know, when I was <clears throat> growing up as a little kid, uh, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know anything about a cell phone. Somebody made one, though. Somebody had an, an idea. Uh, I didn't know if you would have a black friend. I, didn't, I never thought we would have a black friend I, I never, I, not in my lifetime, but it happened. Confidence means having faith in yourself. You must encourage yourself. So you got to encourage yourself in, to, to believe in yourself. 95% of, of emotion, whether they positive or negative, uh, is all determined by how you talk to yourself on a minute by minute basis. So you got to talk to yourself, is what I'm telling you, positively. I can do it. I can make it. I can accomplish this. You have to tell that story to yourself. You have to convince yourself to believe that you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to do it, you can do it. But you got to tell yourself you can do it. Ms. Miles, please contact extension 82017. Ms. Miles, please call extension 82017. I have some students that would like to pay for their PSAT. The Western Dictionary says confidence means trust, reliance, assurance, belief in all one's own ability. Uh, now, has anybody ever said these things to you? Don't answer it, okay? I'll make it real quick. Is, it, is anybody ever said to you, you're no good? You, you can never do anything right. You're stupid. You messed that up again. You're never going to amount to anything. You're never, ever going to amount to anything. You're worthless. Has anybody ever said that to you? Not yet. So most of you guys have heard that. I know you have. I already know that. Now, you know, how does it make you feel when people say those kind of things to you? I know it's hurtful. And it's not good. No question about it. This has been, if this has been done to you, you know, you begin to talk to yourself the same way. See, see, people can convince you of that, and you start telling yourself that. Then you expect bad things to happen. And when bad things happen, you say, I knew that was going to happen anyway. And just, man, move up, go on about your business. Okay. We're going somewhere with that. But that's not how it's done. So if, if people can convince you on the negative side to think negative and do negative things, why can't you do it on the positive side? I can do it. I can make it happen. But first thing you, gotta, first thing you have to do is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself that you can do it. I got a little exercise I'm going to do right now, and most of you guys can do it. I need a little help with it, though. I'll help. I'll Come on. Help. Grab the other end of that plane. Can you grab that? The other end of that. Come on, man. You going to do this or what? Let's go. <laughs> Uh, put it right down and go that way. Go down. There you go. Right. Okay. Put it down. There you go. Now, now what I want you to do, you can be the first one, is I want you to walk this plank. Oh, oh. And then go right back to your seat. And you, and you guys can follow. Go ahead. Go ahead real quick. Do it real quick. I ain't got a lot of time. Come on. Do it quick. Walk the plank. Walk real quick. Walk the plank. Walk the plank. One at a time, one at a time. Go oh, right back to the seat. the first one. Keep going, walk the plank. Go so right back to the seat. Just do it. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. That's cool. That's all right. Touch yourself. I like that. I like that. Believe that you can do it. I like it. Touch yourself. All right. 
All right, that's good. All right, but that's good. Good job. I got three minutes. Okay, now, since I got three minutes, I'll make it real quick. Okay. Thank you. 